Hey guys, today we're going to talk about one of the most important topics in a home theater room, ambient lighting and few ways that can help solve this issue in your room. Firstly, what is an ambient light? Ambient light traditionally refers to any form of natural or artificial light that is not intentionally added in a room. A dedicated home theater room is a room solely dedicated to watching videos on a big screen. This means nothing else should be happening in the room other than screening related activities. When a home theater shares space with other activities, the cinematic experience is lessened, such as an open space shared with another room in the house. And if you have kids, you know how difficult it can be to watch a movie when they're running around playing in the living room or dedicated home theater room, which affects the lighting and your viewing experience. Home theaters should be spaces where you want to limit ambient light, especially if you're using a ceiling mounted projector system, which needs roughly 12 foot throw distance to cast an awesome 125 inch diagonal picture, unless you're using a short throw projector. Light bleed kills video images and makes the viewing experience less enjoyable. And if you do have some form of ambient light you cannot control in the room, you can fix this issue by adding curtains or shades, or for a five meter viewing distance, go for a projector that's equipped with a higher lumens rating of 3000 plus, like the BenQ TK800M or the Epson EHTW7100. But my advice would be locate your home theater in an area in the house that already has very little light, such as a basement, which is perfect, or a room that has no windows and not shared with any other room. Lighting system is another big no-no while watching a movie. I myself have a ceiling LED strip light feature running around the perimeter of the room to give that classic home theater look. And what I've noticed is that it actually strained my eyes and degraded the viewing experience. So if you have any form of lighting as a feature, try to keep it behind the viewing point. Anything that isn't the screen itself and that reflects light back to the viewer, such as recessed light trims, doorknobs, etc., should be minimized by reducing their shininess. And one major subject to consider with this is the paint color of the walls and ceiling in the room. This should be the dark colors like your grays, dark brown, burgundy, blacks, and no glare matte paint to make the picture in your home theater really pop and cut down on light bouncing around and create a full immersive cinema experience. I hope this gives you a better idea of how and why you should avoid ambient lighting as well as prevent light reflection from some of the things in your room. Stay tuned for my personal epic home theater room tour video that's dropping this weekend. As always, do the research and I'll see you guys in the next two minute tip vid. Take care.